Welcome to another How to Use and Getting Familiar with Stable Secretary Online. In this video, we will be talking about breeding records. Breeding records are available at our Go, Performance, and Professional subscription levels. So let's go ahead and start looking at them. You'll see on our home landing page, we have the breeding tab. And if you drop it open, you can see a history of recently added breeding records. So I was in here yesterday when I created the mobile app video, which you can view on our support page and our YouTube channel to learn how to do breeding records within our mobile app. And you can see I have some that were a little bit older. We are able to click here to go to the breeding specific reports section, which we will get to in a second. But first, maybe you need to enter some breeding records. To do that, we will use our big red add button in the upper left. We will select breeding record. And you will see there are a couple of options on this page. You are able to manually add a pregnancy. Say you just need to put it in there. You bought a mare that's in foal and you need to add her in the system and you want to put that in there. To do that, you will just hit Add Pregnancy. Your horse selection list will populate only with your mares, and being mare or stallion as the sex must be saved to their horse profile. If you don't see a horse on here, go over there, double check it, make your changes, click Save, come back here, and they should appear. If not, reach out to us. Our support staff is, well, always happy to help. So we'll go ahead and we will say one of my fake clones is pregnant and we'll just put it then and let's see what's 11 months after that we'll put it <clears throat> we'll put it there you can put comments if there is a loss if there are notes you need to add regarding the loss you can hit cancel if that's wrong and you don't need to add it or we'll go ahead and click save that way it shows up and we'll have something in a report. You are able to view, edit, and delete this. If you click delete, the horse will not be marked as pregnant anymore. This addition will be removed. So other kinds of breeding records you can have, milk test, foaling, insemination, ovulation, pregnancy check, and semen collection. Semen collection, of course, it will only populate your stallions because that's their job. So we'll go ahead and say that I collected off of one of my stallions. You can add a bill pair if it's different than their normal bill pair. You can give a date. You can put a price on here, a quantity, a count, an extender, an intended recipient, which would be a person's name. Anything can be typed in here. It does not have to be a contact within your stable. You can put an intended mare. It does not have to be one of the horses from your stable. It can be anything, but I'm going to put one of my horses and any comments that needs to be added. So we'll click save. And now for the purposes of this, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, I collected off of that stallion. I said I was going to use it for melody. We will go ahead and add another record type, which is insemination. And any of these mare functions, the fields are going to be pretty similar. Um, it'll just have like open-ended typable fields that are more specific to the record type. So again, if you're going to add this record, you have your horse already selected from up here in field two. You can select multiple horses if you do all of them in a day. I'm just going to add one. We'll put a date. We'll say that I did it just today. Put a price. You can put on here what kind of insemination type it was from AI, fresh, frozen, ICSI, live cover, or other. I'm going to say fresh just for the purposes of I just added a record that I collected off of my stallions this same day. Maybe he was on one side of the farm and she was in the you know room next to it and we we're just going to go fresh. So we can put stallion name. And again, it's a typable field, does not have to be a horse from your stable. You can put quality, frequency, any comments that you need. 
and click Save. So now that you have a couple records in there, we did show you on the home page how to drop open the breeding dashboard. But now let's revisit this reports page to look at these breeding reports. So some of these, like if you click pregnancy, there are no search filters to set. It is only going to show you your actively pregnant horses. And this is a printable report. Or you can come back and you can click insemination records. And you can choose which mares you want to look at. I have all selected. You can put a start date. I went from the beginning of the year. Click run report. And so this box will show you kind of what's coming up. You can toggle it away or leave it open. And you will get a list of all of the insemination records, because that's our filter type for this report. And you can see the name of the mare, the date, if you put a stallion's name, the type, quality, frequency, comments. It is also printable. Hopefully this has helped you understand a little bit better <clears throat> in adding breeding records. If you have any problems, of course, always reach out to us at our support venue methods via the contact form, email. We have a phone number you can call or send a text message to, and we will get back to you as quickly and as helpfully as we can. Thanks.